Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story today is dealing with Fox News reporter Peter Ducey sparring once again with Press Secretary Jen Psaki all over Joe Biden's hypocritical actions. And we're not just going to look at one or two, but we're going to look at three hypocritical actions that the President of the United States has committed this week. The first one looking at is the travel restrictions. Now, if you recall, Joe Biden implemented travel restrictions on eight African nations, all due to the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. And I said, look, how is it that Joe Biden isn't considered a racist? How is it Joe Biden isn't considered a bigot when he implemented these travel restrictions? But when Trump did it, when Trump implemented travel restrictions on China, he was he was xenophobic, folks. When he implemented travel restrictions on the European nations, he was a racist and combined it made him a bigot and the left went after him for this. But when Joe Biden does it, you don't hear anything from CNN. When Joe Biden does it, you don't hear anything from the left or the Democrats. It's only when Republicans commit things that all of a sudden they're racist, bigot, sexist, homophobes, and all these other things. And it's not just the travel restrictions. Joe Biden was also caught not wearing a mask indoors while shopping when clearly there were signs posted that says, if you're going to shop indoors, you must wear a mask. But again, Joe Biden's holier than thou. He's above the rest of us. So all of us have to be masked up. But Joe Biden and the Democrats don't have to be masked up themselves. You don't have to look any further than, than uh, Gavin Newsom here in California eating at a nice restaurant, not wearing a mask. But all of us can't go to a restaurant all of us can't eat indoors you also had nancy pelosi going and getting her hair done when all of us can't go get our hair done but she can so it's consistently by these democrats it's consistently by these politicians that they're better than the rest of us they don't have to follow the same rules they impose upon us because they're greater than the rest of us folks and again it's not just that joe biden has instituted a remain in mexico policy that he said was antithetical to american values when it was instituted under trump so it's consistent hypocritical actions coming from this president but this one comes from our friends over at the daily wire if you're not already a member hey go over and become a subscriber today and also help us out here at the bald brad show by hitting that like and subscribe button sharing this with your friends and family all over social media again it really does help us grow here at the show with that being said they titled this one peter Ducey spars with jen Psaki over xenophobic travel bans and biden's maskless shopping trips they start off saying Fox News White House correspondent Peter Ducey sparred with press secretary Jen Psaki during Monday's briefing, asking pointed questions about newly implemented travel restrictions and President Joe Biden's massless shopping spree over the Thanksgiving holiday. Let's see a little bit of what that looked like. Before Joe Biden was president, he mm -hmm. said that COVID travel restrictions on foreign countries were hysterical xenophobia and fear mongering. So what changed? Well, I would say first to put it in full context, Peter, what the president was critical of was the way that the former president put out, I believe, a xenophobic tweet uh, and how he called that, what he called the coronavirus uh, and, and who he directed it at. The president has not been critical of re travel restrictions. We have put those in place ourselves. We put them in place ourselves in the spring. But no, he does not believe. He believes we should uh, follow the advice of health and medical experts. That's exactly what he did and putting in place these restrictions over the weekend. Don't you just love how Jen Psaki continually fumbles through her words to try to come up with a coherent thought on how to make sense of the president's hypocritical actions? And I also love how she's hitting Trump for saying, oh, well, it's xenophobic because he called it the Chinese virus or the Wuhan virus. Excuse me. Excuse me. You sit down. You're sick. Excuse me. You're sick. It's China. China caused this. It's from Wuhan. It's the Chinese virus, right? <laughs> it's not the best Trump impression, but we all missed the guy. And we called it the Wuhan virus. We called it the Chinese virus because that's where we believe that it came out of was a Wuhan lab leak. Now we have to say we believe because uh, we're not sure because we don't want to get banned here off YouTube, but she's just fumbling through her words. And at the very end, she's basically saying, look, it's okay when we do it, but it's not okay when somebody else does it and we're going to get away with it. And she knows it. Well, it wasn't just me, Ben Shapiro, Steven Crowder, all these conservatives, on YouTube calling out the hypocrisy of the president last week, but we have multiple congressmen, congressmen, congresswomen calling out Joe Biden's hypocrisy as well. We have GOP chairwoman Ronna McDaniel tweeted, when Trump imposed travel restrictions, Biden called him xenophobic. We also have White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows who said this, I see restricting travel over COVID is apparently no longer racist and xenophobic. I wonder what changed. We also have Congresswoman Claudia Tenney saying, I'm old enough to remember when restricting travel from other nations was racist and xenophobic. And it wasn't just them. We have Tom Cotton, Republican from Arkansas on Fox News, who had to say this about the hypocrisy of the president. 
Uh, Senator, great to see you. You were the first one to call for a travel ban to China before anyone really knew what this virus was because China was not being transparent. They still aren't. Now, South Africa picks up the phone, calls 1-800-WORLD and says, I have a, a variant here you guys should pay attention to. We immediately have a travel ban on them. Why do you think it's a bad idea? Well, what President Biden did over the weekend is a typical half measure that reflects the incompetence of this administration. If you want to implement a travel ban, it needs to go into effect immediately. Exactly. That's what most European nations did that implemented that travel ban. If you don't want to implement a travel ban because you think the virus is already here or that it's counterproductive, then you shouldn't do so. But this is yet another incompetent half measure. As you said, Brian, last January, when the Democrats were wasting the American people's time with the impeachment trial of President Trump, I was trying to sound the alarm about this virus. I was calling for President Trump to stop travel immediately from China to the United States. After about a week, President Trump did so. And I remember then that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris denounced it as xenophobic and racist, just like they called subsequent travel bans on other countries racist as well. The hypocrisy here is amazing. And it's not just the travel restrictions that's hypocritical from this president. We also have video footage of him not wearing a mask indoors when there's clearly a sign that says that you must wear a mask indoors. Here's a little bit of that sparring session between Peter Ducey and Jen Psaki. Okay, we saw the president shopping indoors on Saturday behind glass that says face covering required, but his face was uncovered. Why? I, the president is uh, somebody who follows uh, the, the recommendations and the advice of the CDC. I don't know what the circumstances were of that particular moment. He was shopping in a store, and on the glass outside it said face covering required, and we could see him inside, and his face was uncovered. Well, again, Peter, our recommendation and advice continues to be for people to wear uh, masks when they are required in establishments. I don't know what this establishment was. The president obviously follows the health, the advice of his health and medical it's team. Don't you just love that little ending there by Jen Psaki telling Peter Ducey, well, Peter, he, he comes on stage with a mask when he goes to public services and speaking engagements. He wears a mask when the cameras are rolling. Peter, he wears a mask. Yes, Jen, that's the whole purpose. That's the whole purpose of us bringing this up is that when cameras are rolling and he knows everybody's seeing him there in the spotlight, he's wearing a mask. But when he's not in the spotlight, he's not adhering to the mask mandates that he's implementing, that he's trotting out all the time. And that's why everybody's so pissed off is because if somebody doesn't wear a mask, they can either get arrested or fined or shut down. But when he does it, all of a sudden it's okay and we're supposed to pretend like it's not happening. And you're just gaslighting this whole thing. We're supposed to pretend like there's nothing wrong with this guy, that he's completely saying there's nothing wrong with him. He has no medical issues and we're supposed to turn a blind eye to all this stuff. We're supposed to pretend that he's not fumbling through his words. We're supposed to pretend that he doesn't lose his train of thought. We're supposed to pretend that he's just a stellar human being that's not hypocritical, that's not making mistakes, that doesn't know how to run the country. We're supposed to just, again, look the other way, folks. None of this is happening. Everything's okay. And it's not just the mask mandates. We have here, the exchange concluded with a question from Peter Ducey about the return of the Remain in Mexico policy, which requires applicants to wait in Mexico for their asylum claims to be processed and Biden's claim that it was antithetical to what America stands for. Saki said that Biden still feels that way about the policy, but was forced to comply with a recent court ruling. When has that ever stopped him before? There are court rulings out there that he's not abiding by. There's things that he just X'd out and said, eh, we're not gonna do it anymore. So there's plenty of policies that Joe Biden can uh, basically overrule and not go forward. I don't know if that's exactly one of these. I like the fact that the Remain in Mexico things put back in place because we have a whole crap ton of stuff going on with the immigration issue at the U.S.-Mexico border. And quite frankly, I think that's the why Biden administration implemented it because they're seeing that the policies that were put in place, the policy under the Trump administration was working. And it's, it's a band-aid right now. There's a lot more stuff they need to reenact and put back in place to get this whole thing under control. Because again, folks, we're on track to hit 2 million people apprehended at the U.S.-Mexico border. Yes, not not 2,000, not 200,000, 2 million people apprehended the U.S.-Mexico border, border by the end of this year, folks. That's more than three of our states combined in population. But there's no problem, right? This isn't happening. None of this is happening, folks. This isn't, this isn't the real world, okay? But there you have it, Joe Biden acting like a hypocrite, and we're all not supposed to recognize it, and we're all supposed to just turn away from it and not realize all this is happening. And we can't call him out for it. 
because if we do, we're bigots. If we do, we're sexist. If we're bigot, bigot sexist, then we're, then we're also racist too. All this crap, all this nonsense here happening by the Democratic Party that's trying to tear our social fabric apart and completely destroy our country from the inside out. And with that being said, folks, thank you so much for supporting me here on the Bald Brad Show. Please share this video with your friends and family all over social media. And folks, I will see you next time here on the Bald Brad Show.